be focused on getting to know your Dean of Student Affairs and learning more about what he does. And with that, I'd like to welcome Jason. Hi folks, uh, my name is Jason Thibodeau, like Harper said, I'm the Dean of Student Affairs here at Mirror. Um, I'm gonna share my screen, give me just a second. All right, hopefully you all can see that. Um, so I'm gonna talk about a couple things today, right? So talking a little bit about, um, in my role, right, the leadership philosophy that I bring to the table. So what we're gonna do is have a, a little exercise where we're gonna look at a few leaders that I admire and talk about qualities in those folks that make them good leaders. Um, talking about my own philosophy with leadership and then also talking about failure and how that kind of plays into my own story as a leader. Um, so for this first part, so this is the part we're gonna ask for some participation from you all. Um, so basically there are five pictures that are gonna come up. Um, and so I'm gonna ask just to make sure we're all on the same page to answer these three questions. So the first one, just to make sure we all know who we're talking about. The first one is who is it? Second, what do they do? And then thinking about some one or short ways or qualities about these individuals that you admire in terms of um, their leadership attributes, their qualities, or things that they're really known for that make them um, famous for who they are. All right, so feel free, you can just unmute um, in terms of the different qualities that make them good leaders. So a big one is empathy, right? These are all individuals that really have the ability to understand the humanity in folks um, and just see kind of how, how their lives are being played out, how they're impacted and the things they're going through. I think vulnerability is another important element of what these individuals display, right? Like they talk about their own experiences, their own struggles, um, their own, the things that they went through, right? That impacted them in really difficult ways. And by being vulnerable, right, they, they one, they show that that's okay to be vulnerable, because I think sometimes there's the opposite view, right, that in a leadership role, or even as we treat each other as humans, right, you're not supposed to cry in front of other people and that kind of stuff, but they show that it's okay to be, be vulnerable. Um, humor is another one, right? A lot of these people are really funny, um, and they, they kind of catch you, right, right? They, they get your attention they tell their stories and they really engage you with their humor by making light sometimes, right? But really telling important stories and important messages through the power of a funny story. Um, also humility is a big part of what you see here, right? That these are individuals who are incredibly successful, right? Famous, wealthy, you know, by all marks that we judge by each other in, in Western society are doing really well but still very humble about their successes, about where they've come from and the impact of their ability to have on other people. And the last thing I would say is storytelling, right? All of these individuals are really good at telling a story, um, that they're really good about both either their own story or the stories of others and using that to convey ideas. And through that is this last part, right? Where they're able to, to talk about connection um, and they make connection to other people, to society, to individuals through, this, through the power of that storytelling, but through all these other qualities as well, right? By being able to connect with other individuals, that's how they're able to, to lead, make change and make a difference, right? So these are all some of those big important qualities that we see in some of those big folks um, that I try to implement in my own style and own leadership as the, the Dean of Student Affairs from here, right? So in terms of my own philosophy, these are some of the things that are really important for me. And these are kind of like lessons that I've learned throughout my time working um, that kind of tie back to some of the different elements we're talking about that I would also say are really important for you all to consider in your own roles as leaders and going forward throughout the really the rest of your lives. So one of the first things is I am not the smartest person in the room by far. Um, and I would say if you are the smartest person in the room on your team, that's actually a problem, right? Um, because you want to work with people that are smarter than you. Um, and I think that that's a tough thing. Sometimes as a leader, there's this maybe internal feeling that you've got to know everything, that you've got to be the one that knows the answer to it all. And that's absolutely not the case, right? You work with good people who have expertise that you don't have, um, that they bring to the table and they, they can make the room, they can make your organization or your, your team better. And that feeds into the second part, right? Is work with people who are different from you. 
Um, I know I see this all the time where, whether that's like the leadership of a student org or within a company or an organization, sometimes folks tend to work with or hire people that only look like them, think like them, act like them. Um, and actually think that also is a problem uh, because then all you're doing is creating an echo chamber, right? You don't need more copies of yourself. You need people who will challenge you, who will bring different perspectives, who will help you see things that you don't see based on your own experiences or your own worldview, your own education. And so it's really important that you work with people, you work on a team that has those different perspectives. And I would even say, you know, if you interview for a job and you look around the table and everyone looks exactly the same, um, that might be a, a, something to bring up, right? And I know that's kind of an awkward thing to bring up, but how do you, you know, how do you slightly bring up, like, how do you consider different perspectives when making decisions, right? I think that that's one way to get insight. Um, Cause I think it, it this really matters. That's really important that you work in a team with people that are really different from you. And then also that team culture matter, matters. Um, you know, that, that work, it's called work, it's not called fun, <laughs> but you try to have it be as, as fun as you can, right? Especially when you do tough, hard work, that being able to laugh and have fun is, it matters, right? Because you need those relationships, you need that camaraderie, and work needs to be a place where people feel safe, right? People like working with each other because even though it's still work, that there is an element of fun to it. Also that you never stop learning, right? That learning is a really important part of obviously why you're here at UC San Diego. But I think sometimes we think about, right? Like I'm in college, I wanna get that, that piece of paper and then I'm done, right? Um, unfortunately, it's not done. <laughs> uh, I think the heart, like the grades and whatnot may be over, but you should never stop learning, right? Um, if you, if you approach it from the perspective of the fact that I'm done now, che I've checked the box, I've done nothing else to learn, um, that won't necessarily serve you well in the long, the long run. There's always new things to learn and often from other people, right? These things all tie together. Um, so just keep that in mind that you'll always be learning. And then like we've seen with some of the leaders that we've talked about, to be brave and be vulnerable, um, that it really matters to be able to put yourself out there, right? Talk about your own struggles, talk about your own experiences, speak difficult truths, um, because those things matter, especially in a leader, right? Um, I think you see, I think we get this idea from movies and media, right, about a leader is this kind of strong person, almost like military personality, right? Like no faults, everything's perfect, never let their guard down. Um, but the research doesn't actually support that, right? People want to be led by by other humans, and real humans have struggles. You know, they have their own difficulties, and so being brave and being vulnerable, and like Brene Brown will talk about a lot, is really, really critical, both to your own development, but also to leading an organization. Um, trust is really necessary for pretty much everything else, and I think this is also a big one, right? If if the leader of an organization is dishonest or the people that you work with don't trust that person, it's hard to get anything done. Um, because without trust, you don't have much else. And think about it in your own lives too, right? Like, do you wanna hang out with someone you don't trust? Probably not, right? Or do you wanna work really closely with someone you don't trust? No, I mean, usually it's like, what do I need to do to get this done and move on, right? So trust is so important. And part of how you do that is you build it through with people by doing a lot of these things, by being vulnerable, by telling your story, um, by working with different people, right? Um, and, and trust is really gonna be key to any of the work that you do in building a good team. And the last thing I would say is paying it forward. Um, what I see happen sometimes, what I think is not the best is that sometimes someone gets in a leadership position and then pulls pulls the, the ladder out from underneath them, right? It's like, I'm at the top, I'm here, I'm good, thank you. Um, but I think it's really important for the people that you work with, that they've got experiences, opportunities and whatnot to continue their own growth and development. So pay it forward, right? Whether that's by mentoring, by giving folks access to experiences they wouldn't have otherwise, by giving them tasks for new and challenging things. Because your role as a leader is to help other people grow and become leaders themselves, right? 
And so that's how you do that, by paying it forward to help those folks in their own learning and development. So one day they can step into your shoes um, and they can move forward to their own bigger and better things. So those are the big things that I take away in terms of my philosophy. So trying to connect, right, some of those things that I see in those leaders we just went through earlier with the pictures, in terms of my own philosophy and how I approach, um, how do you work with a team of people, right, to, to do our best work to serve students to work at UC San Diego. So next part, I wanna talk about my own failure, right? Um, so this is, this is my own vulnerability, talking about failure from my own perspective and kind of where that took me next. So when I was an undergrad, um, I went to the University of Texas at Austin and I was actually a business major. Um, and I had plans where I was gonna work in IT. So, and that was, you know, kind of like it is now. Um, this is kind of right around the dot-com days where working in IT was a really big deal. I remember I had an internship in New York City working at an investment bank, which is a really, like at the time was like really cool, right? And, and in my mind, you know, like my 21 year old mind was like, I'm gonna make a lot of money. I'm gonna be successful, right? And I think that's, that's hard, cause especially cause our culture teaches us like success equals money, right? Those things are tied together. Um, and that was the worst job I ever had in my entire life. It was so bad. <laughs> um, so pretty much every single day at, at that job, I won't say where it was, but like I said, it was an investment bank in New York. Um, people treat each other terribly all the time. Um, like really nasty comments about other people, um, really sexist things happening all the time. Um, a lot of really negative comments about different people based on all kinds of different identities, right? It was just, just a really terrible environment. And I know for me, the big impact was I felt like I didn't belong um, because I didn't, I didn't feel welcome there, right? Um, because it just was such a hostile place to work. And to me, that I, I actually ended up leaving that job slightly before it was done because I just was so fed up with it. And to me, it felt like a huge failure, right? That I had spent three years at this point in college working towards like, this is what I wanted to do. This is my career going forward. You know, that this is kind of all my success was tied up in this one thing. Um, and when it fell apart like that, I, when, I, when I was in this environment where I didn't feel like I belonged, um, it kind of ruined my career trajectory, right? And I ended up working like a few other IT jobs after that, but it just, it was, it was never the same. Um, and it, it felt like a huge failure. Um, but where I turned around, right, is it, honestly, it, it led me to where I am now um, because that whole issue of both feeling like I didn't belong and things that were happening that definitely made other folks feel like they didn't belong was such a huge problem um, that it kind of led me to this career path, right, where I worked in IT, I hated it. That was a big issue. And I thought, you know, I wanna work somewhere where, where I can make a difference, where I can actually support people. And I can actually make sure that wherever they are is a place where they belong. And that's what that's what we do now, right? That's a that's huge part of what happens in student affairs is building community, building culture, doing things that really create this sense of community and make sure that folks have that sense of belonging. And I think that matters both right to you all as students in the environment at Muir, but also for the staff too, right? That, that they work at a place where they feel like they've got a voice where they belong. Because um, all, that, all that matters, right? If staff don't feel like they belong, they're not gonna do their best work. They're not gonna try hard for you all. They're not gonna make this the place that it is. And so that's how I see all these things connected, right? Like looking at those qualities of other people, of their empathy and the compassion and their ability to, to give voice and tell stories um, to create that community, to create the sense of belonging um, and try to emulate that here with you all, right? In terms of how I approach my work as the Dean of Student Affairs for Muir and what we do in student affairs across the university or really at, really at any college across the US. Um, I think it ties back, this is one of my, my favorite quotes. It all ties, ties into this, right? And this may even apply to what happens in this, this lecture today, right? So this Maya Angelou quote 
I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. And I think nothing could be truer than that, right? Like thinking about even today, you know, or thinking about your experience at UC San Diego, you're not going to remember 10 years from now, like what you learned today in that lecture and in your intro psych class, you know, you're going to remember, did you like that professor or not? <laughs> you're going to remember, did you like living in the residence hall or not? Did you like the friends that you had or not? And it, it all ties back to this, right? That people remember how you made them feel. And I think that is really, really key and important to a successful team, to being a leader of what are the things that you do um, that address how do you make them feel? And it ties back to all those things we we're talking about earlier, right? Talking about displaying empathy, being compassionate, having humility, um, and really being being vulnerable for people for and helping to create that sense of belonging. So that was pretty much um, what I wanted to cover with you all. I don't know if there are questions you wanted to address right now or any other thoughts.